This is gonna protect me, right? No, no. This I'm is crazy. I can't fly. Superman can fly. My life was never the same. My family depend on me. Do you feel okay, Mijo? I don't know. I think I flew into orbit. Been cut a bus in half. Adrenaline give me the rush. Remember what I was taught? I'll never doubt for the count. This carrot chooses the host. You are a superhero, cabros. Oh, I forgot how bad it looks. Nah, I've seen worse. Feel I'm not worthy enough. Uh, I, I didn't ask for any of this. They will kill us all just to get it back. We can do this together. The low you feel for your family makes you lose. You're wrong. That's what makes me strong. Hey, go away from my sister. My family depend on me. Oh, yeah! Beetle. Rated PG-13, only in theaters August 18th. Yeah. Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And this review is going to be on Blue Beetle. And the film stars Shiloh Mariduena, also uh, Bruna Marquenzine, I think that's how you pronounce uh, her last name, Adriana Barraza, Raul Max Turillo, Susan Sarandon, and George Lopez. And of course the film is based off of the DC Comics character, you know, of the same name. And I just got back from seeing the film and I loved it. I really enjoyed it. It was an awesome film. I have to say it, this film was way better than The Flash for DC. This blew Flash out of the water, in my opinion. Now, going into the film, I was expecting it to be, you know, just a, you know, good, you know, superhero film. But I didn't expect to love it a lot. But the film, you know, was action-packed. The action scenes were good. The film has heart to it, you know, especially in uh, the main character of Jaime Reyes. And also, you know, his family, you know, his character's family, you know, they're very, you know, close family. But basically what the film is about, it's about Jaime Reyes, who is played by uh, Sholomite Maraduena. And he finds himself in this possession of this uh, biotechnological alien relic called the uh, Scarab. I think that's how you pronounce the name of it. So this ancient relic, the scarab, chooses uh, Jaime to be its symbolic host. So this relic takes control of his body, and the relic is uh, just planted in his back. And we see, you know, the suit uh, that you know he's in, which basically he becomes, you know, the Blue Beetle, and it's capable of extraordinary and unpredictable powers so like when you know we first see him in the suit he doesn't know what to do so he has to you know control uh, the suit so pretty much basically him becoming the blue beetle you know it changes his destiny and pretty much basically you know that's what the plot to the film is about but i thought uh, Shola Mario Duenda did a uh, awesome job as Jaime Reyes, very likable character, and also you have uh, Jenny Cord, who is played by Bruna uh, Marquenzine. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. So her character, you know, becomes Jaime's love interest, and she also has an aunt who is played by Susan Sarandon, who is uh, the villain. She plays uh, Victoria Cord, who is this businesswoman, and she is hella bent on acquiring uh, the Scarab. And she ends up uh, having this guy, this bodyguard working for her, named Conrad uh, Carapex, who is played by Raul Max uh, Trujillo, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. But he's also... Uh, Omak, who is a cyborg, and pretty much basically Susan Sarandon's character ends up, you know, making him 
no better. And uh, later on in the film, we find out the backstory of his character. So don't want to spoil that, though. But I really liked, uh, you know, Susan Sarandon uh, in the film. I thought she played a uh, pretty uh, good villain here. Uh, you also have uh, George Lopez, who plays uh, Rudy, who is uh, Jaime's uncle. It was awesome to see George Lopez in it. Really enjoyed uh, when he was on screen. He brought his sense of humor uh, to the film. You know, George Lopez's character, Rudy, you know, he has long hair, has a very long uh, goatee. He ends up driving this uh, van, which he uh, calls the Taco, <laughs> which uh, was funny. But, like I said, Blue Beetle, I thought the film was awesome. I loved it. Uh, action scenes uh, were very good. Uh, the uh, CGI, I thought, was uh, very good looking. And the acting, I thought, was uh, pretty good as well. Uh, just uh, like the character of uh, Jaime Reyes. Uh, we, of course, you know, we got the origin story of the, uh, the Scarab. And also the uh, the suit uh, that uh, Jaime Reyes wears as the Blue Beetle. Really liked it. Very well uh, designed. But also I like the fight scenes between Jaime and Conrad when he's Olmac. You know, Olmac and the Blue Beetle, you know, fighting, fighting it out. Uh, the film, you know, is in English. And then, you know, it's also in Spanish because you got like the, uh, the subtitles. Because, of course, you know, Jaime's family, you know, he's speaking English and then a little bit, you know, in Spanish. So, you get the subtitles there for what, you know, they're saying in Spanish. But, overall, Blue Beetle, love the film. It's an awesome uh, film. And, like I said, this film blew The Flash out of the water. This film was way, way better than The Flash. I mean, I thought The Flash was okay, but Blue Beetle was better, in my opinion. But it's worth watching in the theater. But anyways, that's it for my review of Blue Beetle. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy this review. Definitely give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow with the SmackDown and AW Rampage review. So, see you all then.